What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so happy you guys are back to be here with me. I want to talk to you guys today about Xbox. Man, Xbox is, <laughs> they are, they're killing it, man. I mean, to be totally honest. Uh, and it might not, you know, appeal to all tastes. That's the thing. Some people might not like it, uh, and some people probably really like it. I honestly do. I love the fact that uh, the Xbox and the Xbox brand is transforming into something more meaningful. Uh, to me as a gamer. Uh, you know, the whole idea of the Steam box, uh, this idea of an amalgamation of a PC and a console, was something that was really attractive to gamers. You know, the, even though the Steam boxes didn't do well, the idea of what they were bringing, it did have a very appealing, uh, you know, kind of connotation that you get this PC, this PC operating system, you know, has all this power in it, but it's basically made for games. Pretty much, that's what the Xbox seems to be turning into. And of course, with the Scorpio, it's probably going to go even further. Windows and, and, and Xbox have kind of married themselves together. And, and over the last few months, we've heard less and less of the Xbox One exclusive. It's Xbox and Windows. They've really kind of been marrying themselves together. They're kind of joined at the hip. And some people don't like it, but I honestly like it a lot. Especially when stuff like this happens. I'll drop a link in the description. Developers can now publish Windows apps straight to the Xbox One, so more cross-platform apps and games should be landing soon. Microsoft is getting its proverbial development ducks in a row with the addition of new capabilities to its dev center that should make multi-platform publishing a whole lot more straightforward as well as provide more feedback to developers. Microsoft has been working towards this point for some time. It announced the plan in January of last year, and even before that it's selectively been porting Windows apps to the console. But this is the first time developers have been able to offer apps built using the Anniversary Update SDK directly to Xbox One owners. The Dev Center dashboard has also been overhauled, meaning it should be quicker and easier to edit apps, as well as bringing notifications and personalized suggestions. Ultimately, there are a whole load of new options aimed at giving developers more control over their apps and games across Windows and Xbox devices. These include the ability to only push an update to a small percentage of users or to make updating mandatory which would be handy if, for example, a developer discovers a serious bug. This is really damn cool, man. Uh, you know, Microsoft Windows 10, this whole initiative, I think is going to work out really, really well. Uh, it can't really fail. You know, there are a lot of console gamers out there who are upset at the whole idea of marrying their Xbox with a PC. But ultimately, man, you're just getting more options. You know, they're making the Xbox do more. They're not taking away from the Xbox. You know, it's not just a console, not a game console anymore that runs Netflix and YouTube. This damn thing, it's got a torrent service coming to it. It's got, you know, read it for Reddit. Uh, all these Windows 10 applications coming for it. The Xbox One is really about to be that new new. It's going to be that new shit. Honestly, unless Sony's able to kind of combat this new direction that Microsoft is taking, this new initiative to bring Windows 10 and Xbox together, they're going to have a really damn hard time competing with, with what the Xbox is going to be able to do in the future. And I think a very short period of time. I think that within the next year, Xbox basically is going to be a PC. It's going to be a console that can be a PC, not a PC that can play console games. I think it's going to be a nice Windows 10, you know, laptop powered Xbox. And it's going to be really, really slick because all these apps are going to be on it. I think it's really cool. I'm looking forward to going into uh, my Xbox One store and just seeing what apps are going to be available over the next few months. I love the idea. I love the idea of giving developers more power and making it easy for them to port stuff over to the Xbox One. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. I know some people are going to be upset and say, man, Xbox should just be a console only. They don't need to bring this PC stuff. And I know a lot of you guys are, are feeling me on this, that Xbox and uh, the Windows 10 initiative and bringing all these window apps straight to the Xbox One is good for, the, you know, it's good for the Xbox. You know, imagine when you're able to do things with your Xbox that you've never been able to do before. I was talking to Cortano on my damn Xbox and we had a hell of a conversation. Can you say that with PlayStation? Probably not. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. And tell all your friends about me. I got a question. If Sony was to bring you know, their own Cortana type of voice, who would you guys want it to be? My choice would be Ellie from The Last of Us. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, Carl.